Hello, Namaste. I'm Vasanta. Welcome to my vegetarian cooking show. The first recipe that I'm going to show you is a mushroom and a bell pepper curry, which goes very well with any uh, breads, Indian breads or Italian, French bread, anything that you prefer. And the mushroom and the bell pepper curry is on page 122. First thing is I'm going to heat up this pan. I'm going to add a little vegetable oil. And of course, the main ingredients for this curry is vegetable oil and the two vegetables mainly that I'm using today are the the mushrooms. Uh, you can use any special mushrooms if you want to or the regular button mushrooms. Uh, that's the one that I have today. Spices like the ginger and the garlic and of course the cayenne pepper, salt and I have the little um, low-fat sabo cream here today or if you just want to use the yogurt, low-fat yogurt, that's okay too. And uh, here I have a little uh, homemade spicy tomato sauce. Uh, if you don't have that time, you can uh, use the store-bought tomato sauce as well and the ginger has to be really fresh can you see this in a I'm going to use a very small portion but it should have a very healthy color when you break open and what you do is you just peel the outer skin like this and then I got this um, cute little um, grater which is wonderful for the um, uh, ginger and all you do is just like this you finely grate it and the garlic of course I already have peeled them and then you just finely mince it, add to the pan where oil is already heated up and the ginger and the next thing that goes in are the vegetables um, but I don't know for me I think um, it's very important to make sure that they are completely clean and you just have to cut them into four pieces like this and if the stalks are tender you can use them too but if they're not you can just ignore you cut them all into four pieces like that and then I'm going to show you and the, the bell peppers of course um, there are yellow, purple, uh, the red and of course the red ones have a little bit more sweeter uh, taste and all you do is take the seeds out and all the white pith out and you kind of chop them I mean the shiny portion of it anyway and you turn them around turn the uh, flame a little bit lower because I didn't want the ginger and the garlic to be burnt and now that all the vegetables are in the pan you just stir fry 
kind of you know saute them until while the vegetables are being sauteed I'm going to show you the on a high flame you have to saute this and of course this is the way it looks and, and of course you have to let it cook for about five to seven minutes and uh, they will have a little brownish cooked color okay now now that the vegetables are cooked I'm going to add the the cayenne pepper and of course um, you know I always uh, tell in every show of mine that if you want to make it hotter you've got to add more cayenne pepper you want to make it a little bit less spicier you limit the quantity and of course you always add salt when the vegetable is almost cooked and then finally I'm adding the uh, tomato sauce once all the um, spices are well mixed you let it cook for a few more minutes and then this is the way once this is all mixed thoroughly well just before you serve you have to top it off with a little sour cream I uh, don't like to cook this uh, in the dish but when it is all done just before you serve you can just put the dollop of sour cream on top and it looks beautiful see this is the way it looks when it's all done and also when you cook the dish about a day in advance the vegetable has the time to um, steep into the uh, I mean the spices have the time to steep into the vegetable and looks I mean it really looks wonderful and at this point what you do is just add a little sour cream like a dollop on top or yogurt whatever you have at home and then uh, you serve it you can of course heat it in the microwave oven just for about a minute or so maybe a couple of minutes and make sure it's not too cold if you're taking it out of the fridge when you serve it for lunch or for brunch or dinner and uh, what goes very well with this is uh, the uh, the um, onion buns and also even the white bread I already have toasted so you can serve it with a couple of slices of uh, the toast or the buns and uh, in my uh, country what we serve this one is with the, uh, the chapatis or the homemade bread see this is how it looks <laughs> 